Hello everyone, today I'm here for CC Design and I'll be using this cute set for the little lion and this is the holiday animals. Look how adorable he is, all colored up. We'll be coloring him on here so I'll show you how I did it and also I used the coordinating dies to go with it. The stitch square dies from Jada Blossom, the card mat dies from Jada Blossom also, and the snowflake from Lawn Font, and some doodle bug paper. I used three different packs, I just didn't find the one. So uh, the stripes and the cookies. So my card base is four and one fourth by five and a half. I'll be putting a little strip to match the out, outside paper. Super easy. And just like that. That's all I'm gonna do for the inside. And just trim that off. And here is the layer that I used the card mat die for. Love the paper with the snowman. It makes me sad when you like both sides of the paper. So that's why a lot of times I do have two of the same ones of doodle bug because yeah. So there, and I have a little square. And the, um, the card mat die does have a square. I didn't even think of that. It's probably about the same size too. So I could have used that also. Here I'm putting that little piece, trying to get the bottom and the top to kind of have the same equal space. And here I have this uh, stitch circle die. Uh, I didn't show it, I'll be showing it in a second. That's also from a Jaded Blossom because I wanted uh, like a base for my uh, snowflake. So I needed to move it just slightly. I don't want the snowflake to be sticking out. And here I have some glue. And I'm just gonna put it on the rim. Yes, I just used this snowflake with the other layer for, I think it was the last video I did. I love big snowflakes. So here, just making it sure. See, there is the stitch circle die. Sleeve, there you go. And I'm gonna pop my little line up so he can be focus of my card. Look how adorable. I love him. So we'll just go and start coloring him up. So I'm going to start with the YR21. And that's like the face, the arm and the leg and the tail will be that color. And I'll bring in the YR24 for a little bit of um, darker shade. And as always, I'll bring the pencil at the end. We'll show you the, the, the lion colored with just the markers. And then I'll show you the one with, with the pencil also. And then you can be the judge. You want to use pencils, you don't have to. I just, I love the look of both of them. So here I'm just blending. But yes, you can get the same result if you just use a couple extra layers of the marker. And here I'm just doing around the eyes just with one of the layers. So I don't want it as dark so it kind of stands out a bit. So I'm going to do the arm and the little tail, bring in the 24 and blend those two together. And there, and I'll do 
the little legs. So we'll be starting some sneak peeks, um, preview days for CC design next week. So if you don't want to miss anything, as I always say, subscribe to this channel and you'll see all the updated videos and product for CC design. Here I'm going to bring some E13 for the main and a little bit of the poof on the tail. I wanted it a different color, so we're trying something a little different here. And I'll bring in the YR27. And blend those two together. The 27 is not an uncommon uh, marker. I don't, I, I use it all the time. But the 13, I usually use that for the skin color. So those together, paired together, is a little different for me. And I did like the way it came out. So yeah. So I'm just blending those two together. He's very festive with his nice little chef hat and it's all decorated with Christmas balls and a little star. I just think he's just the cutest little thing. So here I'm just blending still. And there are 22 for the lighter shade. And then I go with a 24 and blend those. Pretty little tongue. And there for the cookie tray, I use the C2. And just finishing that off. And the star is going to be the same as the lion, the YR21 and 24. So it kind of matches. So there for the cookies, I got the E33. And I will bring in the E37 want it to have a nice contrast with the two colors. If you're over at my um, channel, there is a video I, I put up yesterday of my craft room before I did all the renovation. So you might get some ideas if you want to go check that one out. So I'm hoping to get the video of all the renovation that I did in my craft room up in the next week or so. And I just love how it turned out. So that one will be part two of my tour. So stay tuned for that. So there I got the YG25 and YG17. So yes. I can't wait to get that one rolling because I didn't start um, editing yet my new craft room. But um, yes, I really liked how it came out. So I'm doing the little apron now with the same two grains. And I'm blending those two together. So now I've got the R24 for the oven mitts and I got the 27. And 
and just blend those two together. There we go. And I got the BG 53. I had to put a little bit of blue here. And the R24. I decorate my Christmas tree with blue, so teals and stuff. So that's why. And there for the garland that's going draping, I got the G29 and G46. And just so you see more of the greenery for it. So there it is with no pencil. Looks awesome. And there it is with the pencils. You, so you can see the difference. But like I said, you can also do that with your markers. Just step it up a bit. So there I'm just doing the cheeks with the pink. Use my Gamsol and Nib and blend that. And there's the green. So next week I'll have two videos for CC Design for the brand new release. So yes, so I'm excited for that. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this release also. It's too cute. So I'm just blending my greens here. And I'll do the little apron also. Yes, I haven't put my Christmas tree or any decorations right now. I'm, yeah, struggling for this year. I'll get there. I know I will get there. But here is the brown that I'm going to use for around the lion. And that's just for the around the face, the ear. The little tail, his arm, and his leg. I'll go a little darker for like the mane of, yeah, because it's a little darker. So we want to have that nice contrast with the brown. So there, I'm going to blend those. <laughs> and here I'm just going to do a little bit of brown on the star just so it matches and just adding a little bit to the ears and there is the brown for the mane it's a little darker making sure I get the little tips of his mane. Yeah. 
about the little nose, so making sure to make it nice and dark. And with the tray, the cookie tray, I put a little bit of black and I will also put a little bit of black on my oven mitts. As you may know, I love putting black with red. So just blending that. And there, as I said, a little bit of black. And you wanna be gentle. Like I always say, gentle with the black because if you put too much it's going to be really strong but with pencil what's nice you can always use an eraser if you think it's just too dark just gotta be careful so there I got my gel pen just fixing a little bit here and there my magic <laughs> I always say it's a magic pen I don't always leave that part in because sometimes it's just well this one is a little long but I leave it once in a while just to show you that yes there's you know little mistakes here and there it's no big deal so here's the Nuvo pen that I used just to put some little shine to my Christmas balls the little star and the cookie tray I'll put some of that on there too. And put a couple layers just to make sure. It was a little dry. And the cookie tray. And I will also bring in the glossy accent on top of the the pen I find it just gives it even more of a shine and you want to be generous with it because then it really pops when it's dry it still like has a little um for it so yeah has dimension and also the little nose there is it right there just have to be careful not to touch it and let it sit and it goes clear it's kind of milky right now but it goes clear so there it is I love love it so I'm gonna bring and show you all the product that I used and the dies and the snowflake so I hope you liked my card for today and I'll be back next week see you